Katie Fry, Private Eye, The Lost Kitten. This is Katie. Psst, down here. Katie is little but has a big brain. Katie loves to solve mysteries. She solved the mystery of the lost glasses. She solved the mystery of the missing cookie. She even solved the mystery of the early bedtime clues. Normal bedtime is 7 p.m. Tonight bedtime is 6.30 p.m. Mom and Dad are dressed up. The kitchen smells like roast chicken. Someone lit candles in the dining room. Conclusion. Parent date. Night. Yuck. Katie is looking for another mystery to solve. I saw a kitten alone in the park, says mailman Bob. Katie knows what to do. This is Sherlock. Psst, over here, Sherlock, Sherlock likes to explore. Do you need some help? Katie asks Sherlock. Sherlock looks this way, that way. Sherlock looks this way and that way. He looks up and down and all around. I am just a little lost, he says. It's the mystery of the lost kitten, Kitty says. I'll take the case. What case? Sherlock asks. Trust me, says Katie. I know what to do. Katie writes down the clue. Someone has trimmed the kitten's nails. His coat is brushed and cared for. The fur around his neck is pushed down. Someone has been taking care of you, says Katie. Looks like you once had a home and a collar. If only we could find it, says Sherlock. That gives Katie an idea. We need to find anyone who saw you wearing that collar, says Katie. Sherlock asks, like, witness? I like the way you think, says Katie. Two, it is time for lunch. Katie asks Sherlock if he is hungry. We have tuna fish, she says. You had me at lunch, says Sherlock. As they eat, Katie asks Sherlock to tell her everything he noticed that morning. Blue sky, hard stones, yellow feathers, and tall trees, says Sherlock. Katie hears a peck on the window. Those are yellow. Th those are the yellow feathers, says Sherlock. I saw the kitten lose his collar, the birds on the windowsill tells them. Where is As Katie look for a pile of stones, said the bird. Sherlock looks confused, but the bird has no time for more questions. He has to fly. A pile of stones. Katie has that big, has that look on her face. The one that needs her big brain is hard at work. Sherlock follows her back to the park. He doesn't know why. And we solved the mystery, Katie says, and now we know where you live. But Katie doesn't want to say goodbye. Maybe I could get lost in the park again, Sherlock suggests. I have an even better idea, Katie says. The end.